go time. It is. Uh, we're going to go ahead and cut. Today's Thursday, May 24th. Uh, first of all, I want to thank everybody. I got 101 subscribers. Couldn't believe I did it. Uh, I can't believe there'll be 101 people that have anything to care what I have to say. You know, uh, but I do thank you. I feel, I feel pretty excited to be honest with you. I know there's guys out there that got a bunch more, and I don't care. Like I said I ain't trying to be no YouTube. Number star. ten, she calved last night. We don't know where the calf the calf is, but it's here somewhere. David's gonna do some shredding, uh, and also on that, I made a mistake the other day. I don't know why the hell I said 55 acres. I do about 30 acres with that shredder, okay, and that tractor. Um, that tractor is geared a little different than the John Deere, so I go a little bit slower in fourth gear. I do 4.1, 4.2 miles an hour at 2100 RPM on that one. This one doesn't have a speedometer. It's got a gear, uh, a range on the side. I think I'd go closer to five miles an hour with that one. Um, but I don't know what I, I don't know what I was thinking. I was watching the video and I said, man, 55 acres, that ain't right. It's about 30 to 35 acres. I do in between three to five acres an hour uh depending on let's say three to four acres an hour depending on you know what thickness the vegetation is and stuff so i'm going to take you along a little bit of hay cutting there that is a vermeer m7050 this cutter is about two years old maybe no maybe three years old i don't know uh i like it uh and people are going to ask me why the bucket's on the front of the truck the tractor uh, and the reason why that is is because this thing has got some weight on it. So I just use it to uh, Offset the weight because these Kubota tractors are light And I can you get to going about I cut I cut five miles an hour. Or so um, You go around a turn or something like that and you get a little heavy a little heavy on the ass in there So that's why I have the loader on it just to kind of counterweight it uh David's going to do some shredding. He's going to take you along with that. Uh, and then we went and checked our other pasture. We got that other 25 acre pasture that I showed y'all. Probably last month we did a little small, or no, just a little pasture maintenance. We went and checked that thing. That sun gun's ready to cut too. Got a lot of stickers in it, but hey, it's cow chow. Uh, so we'll take you over there after a while, see that. And then we'll put this video out and then some... Saturday, I'll go ahead and probably rake and bale it. Uh, I rake it the same day I bale it. I usually, you know, two days and let it sit. Uh, today, tomorrow, let it sit. Saturday, I'll rake it and bale it. And that is because it keeps the good color. It keeps that good green color. Uh, it should be ready to go. We have a lot of humidity. We'll find out. I do dry hay. I don't do any of that solid. I don't do any, you know, wet hay or anything like that. Uh, wrapping hay, we just do regular dry hay. I don't have a since I don't have a moisture test or nothing like that. I just do the old twist it when it breaks it four or five times, it's ready to go. My baiter doesn't have a moisture sensor in it, so I don't really know the moisture content. But we'll take you along for this today. Again, thank you for 101 subscribers. I appreciate every one of y'all, and uh, we'll take you along. Gonna start cutting hay today. He's putting on his rock proof wind. Uh, door shield. The tractor guard, I think that's the name of the tractor guard, ordered it out of the UK, I believe. Uh, I busted two doors. I got pictures on my phone. Well, I'll have David put them in there. Uh, and it worked pretty good. I, like I said, I busted two doors with this. Uh, without it, but I don't know these disc mowers are notorious for that. And I looked around and looked around. Uh, there's a couple other products I thought about. Uh, I don't know. This one just seemed. This one? No.
and it, it does i'm gonna tell you it helps uh i've had like i said i've had Yeah. It's been a year. So. Pop that one in right there. It's been a year since I've used it. Or not a year. But it's been a while.
bit. You know, he can come and cut some hay and I'll come and shred a little bit. Dang, he's doing a good job. He's getting it done. He, he's so worried about messing something up. He kind of stays away from the hills and stuff. The, the oscillation, I'll come over that. He's worried about something breaking on it or, you know, and I told him, hey, in, in this farming and ranching stuff, you're going to break things. So, but he does exactly what I tell him on this, on this cutting. I tell you, man, I got a good kid. I got a damn good kid. I could be more pleased. Come for a ride real quick. You want to switch off? You want to cut hay and I shred a little bit? No. I haven't filmed any. You leave it in there. Ain't nobody going nowhere. The tractor ain't going nowhere. But a cow gonna steal it? Huh? A cow gonna steal it? The only thing's gonna happen. You gonna get up there one day and a coach would be in there. I haven't really filmed anything for me. Uh, I need to film some cutting. I guess I might have David do a little bit of that. Yeah, I said, uh, going to film him do a lap or two. Uh, then I'll get back to shredding, but I think this is our third year with this cutter. It's a good cutter and everything, but we like the, I guess it'd be the pull behind, the hitch type, not the three point, the stand type, I would say. But, uh, easier to hook up and all that. We haven't had any real mechanical issues with this cutter, but uh, the three point, like where you could put your pin through to lock it, those holes wouldn't line up 100% of the time. And that's the only really issue we've had with it besides normal wear and tear.
about the, the cutter that the last getting broke. Uh, if you've ever been in the cab and that disc mower shoots a rock, you've been in one of these cabs when it happens, and it's down there making crap of pain. Uh, in this case, we'll try it. Yeah, I've never seen what one of these looks like. That's it. These are called knives. They're not blades. They're knives. Uh, I don't people call them the right thing. Now, if you watch, you look at Vermeer's, you look at Vermeer's uh, advertisements for these cutters, the quick change blades, and, and they are kind of quick, okay? Uh, but when these turtles start wearing down like this right here, they become a, butt, a pain in the butt to change. But I got to change the turtles. But you'll just pull this little clip right here called a quick clip, pull it, flip these blades. You see how this one's all chewed up? Now, if you look at this side over here, it's good. So what that blades, knives. No. But you know how you can see how this one's kind of, I still, I can still cut on it. I'll still go another uh, 25 acres or so, and then I'll flip them over. But I'm gonna have to start replacing some of these turtles. Uh, but that's what it does. Uh, and you'll adjust your, you'll adjust your cut height by your your top leaf there when you unscrew it or screw it in it, it pitches it so that's what it is uh, you know it's nothing rocket scientists uh, the average farmer rancher whatever can do it uh, but, uh, also got some belts back here if you have one of these you need to adjust those belts and we didn't adjust anything right now because we were going to cut uh, but it ended up we got 57% chance of rain for Monday and What our saying is if we've got hay on the ground, it's gonna rain and it could have a 2% I remember one time I laid 30 or 30 20, no, 25 acres down over off 5 119 outside of Floresville in 1303 No rain chances at all. I mean 2% 3% something like that and about seven o'clock at night, the landowner called me. Uh, what are we gonna do with wet hay? What do you mean? Well, they got two and a half inches of rain and probably one square mile. So it will happen. So that's why we that's why we went ahead and cut today. Uh, this thing does have a quick hitch on it and it is easy. I mean, it's a lot easier than a regular two point. And yes, I need to adjust that link over there. I need to drop that thing in there leveled out anyway we're gonna just go and show them what, what it looks like when everything happens this is our third year with the cutter right i think i'm not 100 sure because i was telling them about it earlier and how the only thing we had wrong with it is uh had to wire out the those pinholes yeah yeah i don't know i was i got vermeer cutters vermeer vermeer baylor vermeer rate i got a wr1022 rate uh but let's go up here and just take a look at what this is i had to cancel the job for tomorrow because of that i'm gonna have to guess i'm gonna i guess i might do we might just unhook that dang thing right there and uh throw it up on the trailer that way we can take it home and work on it tomorrow later tonight or whatever. Anyway, I'll show you the hay patch first. David cut all this again. I just cut this three weeks ago, I think.
a comment. If you want to go in that drawing, and what we'll do is we'll just, I guess, by the name on your on your YouTube account, and I'm pretty sure I can figure out how to message you or my son knows or my wife or somebody. That way nobody has your uh, email address out there. But if you want to be that little drawing for the cap and uh, the sticker, like I said, it's just R&D shredding and ranch services. That's what my thing is. And it's for Randy and David, not Ronnie and David. We'll make sure we'll give you a clean one. No. <laughs> we got we got new caps. It was kind of funny. I ordered them off of Facebook and they sent me the proof. Yeah, it looks good to me. Well, when they get here, I never paid attention. And uh, the, the people who checked emailed me and said, hey, those caps are wrong. Well, hey, we're gonna make you another uh, another batch of them. I think I ordered two dozen or whatever. And I didn't know what was wrong, but it had S-E-R-V-C-I-E-S. So the, the, the C and the I were wrong. With David being able to run some of this equipment and help me out, it sure it does help me out. It really does. And just to let y'all know, on uh, you know, we got a couple videos coming up with hate, but we're gonna have a special guest uh, when we film Sunday's video. We're gonna have my wife make an appearance. We're gonna come and spray some cactus and some mesquite. And I was actually reading the instructions for once on that pasture guard. And it does kill woody plants, so I'm gonna see if it'll kill mosquitoes. You know, I, I use remedy for mosquitoes, but if I can use that pasture guard, that hurt right there. That looks like Cali. Cali. Comes after me, all I gotta do is be faster than David. I'll just triple. You got this stuff cut. This was the last place I shredded right here. I'm ready for dinner, so we'll go get some dinner. The other day, you gotta get good angles. Okay, this. go ahead. Tell them the story. I was over there working, right? Like I do, like a lot of people need to do. But uh, and this lady, she thinks she's all, all there can be in the horse world. She warms her horse up, and they go out into a, to go trail riding with some lesson kids. And her horse starts crow hopping when it hits some uh, wild, wild wheat. And she rides the crow hop surprisingly. And she bells off and starts crying on, on that saddle like that, saying, oh my lord, oh my lord. So I grabbed that horse from her. I was like, you want me to ride it? She's like, yep. So I take it to the round pin, I swing a leg over, and I start beating on that thing with them split reins. He didn't even pitch with me. But I, I go back out to that wild reek, trot him around, and then I let her get on. And he starts bucking and crow hopping and snorting all over again. Yeah, it's, it, it's, it's just, uh, she's scared of that horse, but he didn't tell you, he didn't tell you why, why he, she's, she's pretty mean. 
Oh yeah. But you didn't tell them the part of that. Oh, you didn't tell them what happened. You know how how this started oh, two weeks ago. Oh well, Mr. Marty, the man I work for, has another hand there, and we're cleaning out an old uh, old hay barn. We're gonna put more hay in it, and he had this big uh, old wood cutter, so we pull it out into the into in between the round pen and where this barn is, where she normally walks. And there's four other ways to get into the to the barn to untack your horse. And one time, uh, a couple weeks ago, she comes yelling at me and the other hand, saying how we're lazy and all that for putting that right there in her way. And she's like, she could have got hurt on her horse and all that. And I said, ma'am, there's three other ways to get in the barn, and it's not my job to desensitize your horse. <laughs> anyway, so I guess we got it. Uh, I guess we're about done for the day. But again, I want to say I appreciate the 101 subscribers. I really can't tell you how... That makes me feel that 101 people will take their time out of their day or whenever to watch a video that I do or my son we do together. You know, I, I just want to say I'm truly blessed for that. And uh, I, you know, I, I really appreciate it. But y'all have a good one. We'll holler on, we'll holler at y'all next one.